Hi everyone, it's Dave, and you know what makes this video so funny is because you wanted to see the car, and I dried it all off, and it started raining again. So I'm going to show you the outside of the car, and then the inside. You've asked for it, so here goes. So here is the front of the car. This is a BMW 1 Series. The exact model is a 116i petrol version, and I really like the style in the front. I think it looks absolutely awesome. I like the side profile as well. Really nice alloy wheels and low profile tyres. These were one of the, the nicest features of the car actually. I really do like these style of uh, wheel. I'm not sure the exact style name, but it's like a five spoke alloy. A quick look under the bonnet for you. This is what the engine looks like. A lot of it's obviously covered up by these plastic covers. I'm not going to go into all the technical specifications for two reasons. One, you can look them up online and two, I don't really know them. And this is what it looks like from the back. I really do like the styling of it. And this is a hatchback, so nice sort of spacious boot as well. Let's take a look inside. Plenty of room in here. You've got a little sort of cubby hole down in that sort of corner there, maybe to store oil or if you go shopping and buy something in a bottle, that could go in there. And then underneath here, we have got the battery, which is in the back, and a little bit of space to the right there as well. And then in this corner here, we have got a first aid kit in there and the jack. And this is what the back of the car looks like. So plenty of room here. Considering I have my chair quite a long way back, there's still plenty of room for an adult in the back. And of course the same on this side here and we've got some little organisational bit in the middle there and then if we look over onto the door we have got electric windows on both sides now it is privacy glass on the back as well so it's sort of semi tinted on the front and as we go back towards the uh, rear of the car the windows are more heavily tinted so as you can see from the windscreen it has started raining quite heavily now so thankfully I'm now back inside the comfort of the car and let's have a little look around the inside. So here we've got the instrument display. I really like this. We've also got rev counter on the right and we've got the speedometer on the left. And the engine is running. We've also got this digital display down the bottom here. And this gives you feedback about the time, miles per gallon, the current temperature outside, the total number of miles and your trip distance as well. So sitting just here is the key or the key fob. Now the top button with the little lock symbol on is for unlocking the doors. The middle symbol, the little BMW button there, is for locking the doors and the bottom one is for unlocking the boot, as we call it in the UK, or the trunk, as you might call it in another country. And you don't have to put this key fob in anywhere, you can leave it in your pocket or you can pop it on one of these trays. And then over here we've got the start stop button. Now if I don't push down any of my pedals and I push this button, it actually turns on the electrics. So everything on the car is now on, so I can use the radio, the heating, etc. And then if I actually just push down the pedal, so I'm now pushing down the clutch pedal down here, and then go back up to the start stop button. Now if I push it, it will actually start the engine. So we've now got the engine running. You can see the rev count has gone up, and we can put it into gear and drive away. So let's just turn the car off again, so we can push this again. And now I'm going to give you a little look at this display. And this works in combination with this down here, this sort of jog dial and menu system. Now I'm not going to keep panning upwards and downwards between the two, because you will get dizzy. But this has basically got an audio button for access to the radio, a main menu button, telephone button for access to your Bluetooth connection to your phone. It's also got a jog dial which rotates and moves left and right. And then it's got a back button and an option button. So let's just have a look at the display again. So this is the sort of main console display. And I'm rotating that jog dial now so I can go to CD multimedia. I can go to radio. And when I'm in radio, I can actually uh, select stations or I can move to the left and actually just scroll down to saved stations and then that just displays my preferences, the ones that I listen to all the time. Now if I push the menu button, 
it takes me all the way back to the main menu. If I go into telephone, it gives you a list of my contacts. I'm not gonna share that with you on this video. And then contacts is very similar. This is the contacts it's transferred from the telephone to the onboard memory. And then further down, we've got a BMW services option, vehicle information, and also a settings option. Now just here, we've got some more options. These are some driving options. So the first one here is for turning on and off traction control. We've also got a sport mode and an economy pro mode. Now, it, when you start up the car, it starts up in a standard mode. If you select economy pro, this is gonna improve your fuel consumption. And if you select sport, this is gonna change the suspension very slightly. And as far as I understood when they explained it to me, it will also change the gear ratios a little bit. So it just becomes a little bit more sporty to drive. So let's start the car. So we're just gonna go round and start the car like so. And then we're gonna go down to these buttons here and I'm gonna show you the display as I push these. So at the moment we're in standard mode. I'm gonna push sport and it comes up on the display dynamic driving mode. Now, if I wanna change that, I can then push down and it will switch it into uh, comfort mode, which is the, the standard mode. And if I push down again, then it will change it into economy pro mode. And I can actually configure this mode by using uh, the jog dial to change the dynamics of the car. Now, the other features I like are we've got some controls on the steering wheel. We can change between various modes, alter the volume of the radio, for example. We've got a little sort of jog wheel here, which we can scroll through options. We can also uh, take phone calls and make phone calls. And we've also got a voice control function as well. And then over on this side of the steering wheel, we've got the cruise control function. So we can turn cruise control on, set the speed, alter the speed with this jog dial. And then if we interrupt cruise control, for example, if we have to brake, and then we want to resume it, we can push the resume button. And then just one other thing I wanna show you as well, and this thing doesn't seem to be working as I'd expect it, there's an auto off button. And what this is meant to do is when you pull up at traffic lights, if you put the car into neutral and take your foot off the clutch, it's meant to stop the engine. Now I had the engine stopped while I was parked the other day and I didn't touch any of the pedals, but when my wife walked up to the car, the engine started. So I'm not sure if that's a feature, but I wasn't expecting that. And just one last thing I'll show you here. This is sort of the main sort of control panel for the heating. Got a couple of vents here. We've got hazard lights. We can lock the doors. Uh, we can change the vent, sort of the amount of air that comes through the vents. We've got a radio and CD player here. And then just below, we've got controls for the fans. So we can direct the fan to a particular part of the car. We can turn the rear heating off on the rear windscreen, fan control up and down, air conditioning, and of course the temperature control here. So that's it. That is my BMW 1 series. And I did this video because so many of you are asking. I don't normally share details about my car on my channel for some reason, but you asked for it, so there you go. In closing, I didn't expect to give you such a fully sort of detailed look around the car, but I hope you enjoyed it. The seats, just to touch on the seats, are super comfortable. They're sports seats, so they've got a nice amount of support on the left and right hand side, and you can adjust that as well. You can sort of pull those sides in, give yourself more lumbar support. Really one of the most comfortable seats I've experienced in a car. Now I've only driven this car on a test drive and then for two days so far, but I am loving it. I've had a BMW before, I had one many, many years ago. I had an old 318. That must have been when I was about 20 years old or 21, something like that. So that's a long time ago, it's like over 20 years ago. And I really loved that car back then, but it was a, a real, uh, not a wreck, but it was in bad condition, it really was. Um, and then I had a, a 7 Series, which again was in really bad condition, but I loved BMW, so I purchased it anyway. And the miles per gallon I used to get out of that was absolutely terrible. And then I took a break from BMWs, but I did have one about eight or nine years ago. And that was really nice, absolutely loved it. But unfortunately, I think I mentioned this to you in a previous video, because of financial uh, difficulties and I needed to di direct what I'd invested in the car into other things, I actually got rid of that car and I did miss it. It was a 320 diesel, really loved it. 
So getting back into a BMW is a nice feeling. It's a very familiar feeling com in comparison to the one I had nine years ago. Certainly no comparison to the one I had back when I was in my early 20s. That was so different, not as refined at all, but still a nice driving experience. But I just really like it, I really do. And I'm sort of glad that I changed from the Mini to this. I, I absolutely love the Mini, but this is um, certainly a lot nicer to drive and I'm really enjoying it. So something else I'll quickly share with you is what other cars I considered when I was gonna replace this. But before I do that, I'll let you know what we were considering to replace my wife's car with. Now she drives a Toyota RAV4 at the moment and we were considering an Audi. I think, is it a Q5 or a Q3? can't remember the model number now we we're considering that or another Toyota RAV4 or a BMW X3 we thought the X5 was just a little bit too big so that's what we were looking at for what we call the family car something we take away on holiday um, and something my wife would drive every day and then for this car when I was looking at changing the Mini I considered the Mercedes A-Class uh, that interested me a lot and a curveball here, but I also considered the Toyota Prius purely because of the technology in it. Because um, I'm a, a gadget freak, that really interested me, but I think it was just the design styling that didn't do it for me. So, but it came into consideration. Um, I also really like the Land Rover Freelanders, but because my wife's got a big car, we didn't want two big cars. One, we haven't got room for them on the driveway, and two, uh, I think it's better for me to have a smaller car just because of the type of driving I do. So it really came back to the BMW and I was considering BMW 3 Series or 1 Series but I decided on the 1 Series because the driving experience is very very similar to the 3 Series but it's in a lot more compact car and I wanted a compact car. I do like Audis myself as well, I considered uh, looking at an Audi A3 I think it was so that, that came slightly into consideration, but I really was excited to get back into a BMW. So that's where, where I ended up back here, sitting inside this one series. So anyway, that's it for today's video. I just want to say again, thank you to everyone who showed an interest in the car. As I keep saying, I don't normally cover cars on the channel, but this is part of my daily videos and it's something that I worked hard to purchase and I'm really enjoying it and I love talking about cars so again thank you for asking me to to share it with you and thanks for watching let me know what car you drive as well uh, I could talk about cars all day car technology first gadgets second uh, which really come in, comes into the same category as technology and then cars after that absolutely love it so thanks again hit that like button and I'll see you all again in tomorrow's video Thanks so much for watching the video. If you'd like to watch another amazing video from me, please do click that top box. And if you want to subscribe to my geeky channel, click the red box on the bottom of your screen now. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.